Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going back to Code Signal to work on the SQL database coding exercises. If you're joining this in the middle of the playlist, I'll put a link down in the description uh, if you want to start from the beginning. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So we're going to go to the arcade, databases, and then we left off in this section here with the last one, uh, 35. All right, so you have a table scores that contains information about a series of soccer games. Your goal is to determine the winner of the series. The team has declared the winner if it won more games than the other team. If both teams have the same number of wins, then the winner is determined by the goal differential. The difference between the goals that a team scores and the goals that the opposing team scores on them all over all the games. If the goal differences are equal, the winner is the team that scored more goals during away games, games that when it was not the host team. The result is the index of the winning team. If the above criteria are not sufficient for determining the winner, return zero. The scores table contains the following columns. So we've got a match ID, which is just a unique ID. The first team's score, so it's the score of the first team in the current match, and then the score of the second team in the current match, and who hosted the game. Your task is to return a new table with a single column winner, which contains one, two, or zero. So this is what the, t the table looks like. Each ma match is a row. So this this one, uh, the first team scored three, the second team scored two, and the first team was the mat, the host, and then two, one, uh, and the second team hosted, etc. So you just have to find out. Uh, according to those conditions, who won. So when I was looking through the solutions, this was, uh, I think, the best written one, the easiest to explain, so I took this one, other, and my solution was a little bit more complicated, um, so I liked this one. So first let's go over, so they have a, a subquery here that calculates some things, and then uh, actually the calculation up here is pretty simple. So they're summing up uh, the first team score and looking at whether that's greater than the second team score. So if, and then later on up here, they'll do some things. All right, so that's the first team wins. So when the first team is greater than the second team, that's when the first team wins. That's the number of wins they would have. So in this case, uh, you would get a one here, uh, you would get a one here, and you get a one here. So it'd be three uh, for this first part here, and then the second team wins is very similar. It's just in the opposite direction. So in this case, you would only get one because this is the only uh, one that the second team wins. And the goal differential, um, so you're summing up the difference between the first team score and the second team score, so it would be 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus, uh, actually, yeah, it would be 1 plus 1 plus negative 1, so 1 up to then, and then plus 1, so it would be a goal differential of 2. And then this looks at if the match was hosted by number 2, what was the first team score? So this is the condition that he's looking at. Um, if the goal differences are equal, the winner is the team that scored the most goals during the away game. So if the match host is two, then the first team is the away team. So then you uh, figure out how much of the scores you'll get. So if this evaluates the true, then it'll be one. So it'll be one times the score. This evaluates the false, it'll be zero, so it'll be zero times the score, which is always zero. So it'll only sum up the scores where they are the away team. And then similarly, they do the same thing for the other team. So then he stores that uh, subquery as stats, and he uses the stats up in the select to calculate uh, who the winner is. So when the first team wins more than the second team, then the first team is the winner. When the second team wins more than the first team, the second team is the winner. 
when the goal differential is greater than zero because how I set it up is first team score minus the second team score summed up so if that's greater than zero then one will be otherwise if it's less than zero it'll be two if the goal differential is zero it means they score the same number of goals and then he looks at the away uh, points which he labels first team points and second team points um, so if the away points for the first team are greater than the second teams then it's one and the opposite uh, it's two and if all these conditions uh, don't evaluate to true then it goes to zero as specified here and he labels that column as a winner so if we run that we'll see that that is correct I hope you guys are able to follow along with that uh, the hardest part is just setting up this, this subquery here and then once you have that uh, it's a nice transition to just setting up this nice case statement alright thank you very much hope you guys join me for future videos